Hi everyone, welcome to another Tech Tips channel. Part 3 Dashboard and Low Stock Level Alert If you haven't watched the part 2, click on the link that is shared at the top right. Watch the part 2 first, then only back to this video. Alright, let's proceed to check out the dashboard. Dashboard is set as Dashboard View, Position set as Left. Two view entries, the Stock Balance Quantity Chart, and Warehouse Floor Plan Map. Let's check out the first view entry. The Stock Balance Quantity Chart View. The Stock Balance View is a chart view, data sourced from Master Table. Position set as Reference. Set the chart type as an Aggregate Donut Chart. Group aggregate with the sum of balance quantity. And the chart columns as stock code. Label type as value and enable the show legend option. Next, set the relevant icon, I set it as chart pi. Alright, let's check out the detail view. The detailed view is the one we have covered in part 1 video. Check out the detail view setting in the part 1 video. And now, we will focus on the stock quantity at each location. If you still remember, we have a virtual column in the master table. The related quantity by location column. It is a list type, which refer to quantity by location table with stock code. Let's check out the quantity by location table. There are four columns in this table, with two virtual columns. Record ID is a text type with app formula which generate unique ID. Stock code is a reference to the master table. Location code is a reference to the location table. Quantity is a number type. Computed key is an auto-generated column by the system. It is the key column. It concatenates stock code with a colon and the location code. Lastly, the stock opening quantity. It is a number type, which value is getting from master table. The opening quantity column. Alright, the quantity by location table is ready. You may be curious, which function updating the data in this table? The answer is from the stock in and stock out module. Whenever we create a new record in the stock movement, it will auto update the quantity by location table by match stock code and location code. To make this work, we create a bot in the automation section. Create a new event in the bot. Set the event type as data change and apply this for all changes to the movement table. Create a new process that run a data action. The action is adding a new row to quantity by location table. Let's check out the setting in the action under behavior. The action is run for the record in the movement table. And it will add a new record to the quantity by location table. Let's check out the column setting. Record ID is assigned with unique ID. Stock code is assigned with stock code from the movement table. Location code is assigned with location code from the movement table. Lastly, the quantity is assigned with an app formula. The app formula is to add up all quantities in the movement table. With the same location code and stock code. The formula returned the balance quantity of the stock at a certain location. The action now is ready. Wait a minute, do you find that, why it is adding a new record only? What if the same stock code and location are existed in the table? No worry, a sheet will handle it. Remember we set the stock code and location code as computed key? With that, a sheet will help to update the existing record of same computed key found. Else, it will add the data as new record. Let's proceed to the warehouse floor plan view entry.
The warehouse floor plan is a map view, data sourced from location table. And the position set is reference. In the view option, set the map column as coordination. Let's check out the setting of the coordination column. Coordination is AXY type, with background image which getting from the map table. Map ID is a column that refer to map table. While the map image is an image column in the map table, which kept the floor plan. Alright, the warehouse floor plan view setting is completed. Let's proceed to the last automation setup. The bot that auto sending an email to the person in charge, daily. Which listing the stock that has a low level quantity. First, create a daily schedule event. Then create a process which runs a task that sends an email. Then set the table name as master table. Set the recipient email address. Then set the email subject. Then set the email body template. First, set the email title. Then set the column title. Following with a query which filters the low stock level item. Then enter the column name and enclose it with the bracelet. Then, remember to close the query with end tag. Alright, the template is ready. So the bot that we just created. It will send out an email at 4 p.m. daily to the person in charge, which listing the stock that contain a low stock balance. And always remember, save your project. Bonus time, always put the most frequent use module at the top menu. You may arrange the menu sequence at here. Click the done to save the changes. Alright, our workshop for inventory management system is completed. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Leave me a comment if you have any question. See you guys in the next video. Bye.